Hi, welcome to another reading. This one is called Longing for the Sense of Long Ago. Longing for the Sense of Long Ago, the uncanny and refreshing taste of young cucumbers eating straight from the vines, the musky smell of half ripened tomato on your fingertips after a day's picking. The indicative smell of the 10 pound mango as the ripened ones fall on the ground. The pungent smell of the newly burned sugar cane fields as the bull carts carry their load to the factory. The heedly woody scent of the freshly ploughed field. The overpowering sweetness of the ripened guavas from the patch of trees, combining and forming an even more delectable scent as Ma and Mammy make guava, jam and jellies. Mammy, that magical cook, no store-bought sweets can compare. You are told don't go into the kitchen, but you sneak in anyway like an elf to see firsthand what's baking knowing one shake of the wooden floor will drop the cakes. Waiting patiently for Saturday evening to get a whiff of the coconut bread baking in the oven, hanging around to be the first to taste hot hops and butter. Those hot sunny afternoons where mommy would dig out the ice shaver, a small metal contraption Take a huge block of ice from the freezer and turn it into crushed ice. Each one of us and whichever neighbor was around got a cup of ice filled with lots of guava syrup, popularly known as snow cone. As I said before, nothing was bought. Don't get me started on her Swiss roll and donuts, fudge and sugar cakes. Her mastery of making Indian sweets, ladu, pera, and kurma, which to this day has a list long of lovers. Unfortunately, some scents will have to stay in memory. Circumstances gives it an added flavor. No more wooden floors to sneak into. No more going with the buckets to pick up fallen gophers. Even the trees are no more. No more planting of sugarcane. Fortunately, mommy can still make that kurma that she has no recipe for. When asked, just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Thank you.